Hi everyone, I'm Bella and welcome to our yoga class for opening the shoulders, chest, and upper back. So while we're going to create space and flexibility within that whole area, we're also going to help to strengthen them. So if you're ready, come to a comfortable cross-legged seat on your mat and we're going to start by working and stretching into the shoulders a little bit. So bring the right arm across the chest and help to pull it in with the left arm. If you'd like to take the left hand to the left shoulder, and maybe that'll help to leverage the right arm closer to the chest, you can do that. Continue to sit up nice and tall and try to shrug the right shoulder down away from your right ear. We'll hold this for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale, maybe pull the right shoulder, the right arm into the chest a little bit more. Two more breaths. Go ahead, release the right arm, give it a little bit of a shake, and then bring it up by your ear, and then drop the right palm to come in between the shoulder blades. Reach the left hand towards the right elbow, and help to pull the right elbow down, opening up through the underside of the right arm. Continue to sit up tall. One more breath in. And on the exhale, maybe pull that right elbow down a little bit further. And slowly release that. Shake it out again. And we're gonna come into eagle arms. So bring both arms out in front of you, cross the right arm over the left arm. And if you can, continue to wrap the arms all the way until the palms come to touch. If this is a little bit too intense for you, you could just wrap the arms as much as they'll go, maybe just crossing at the elbows and just squeezing the forearms and the backs of the hands together if the full wrap isn't possible. So wherever you are, squeeze the arms in, keep the shoulders down from the ears, but while you're doing that, reach the fingertips as much as you can up to the sky and that'll give you a really nice stretch on the back side of the shoulders and the back side of the chest. Continue to reach the fingertips up and exhale, uncross the arms, shake it out. And this time bring the left arm into the chest across the body and pull it in with the right arm. Again, option to bring the right hand to the left shoulder, maybe helping to leverage it open a little bit more. Another breath in. Try to reach the left shoulder away from the left ear. And release, shake it out. Bring the left arm up by your ear and then bend it, bringing the left palm in between the shoulder blades. Bring the right arm up to the left elbow and pull that elbow down. Continue to breathe. One more breath in. And exhale. Release. And we'll come into eagle arms. So cross the left arm over the right. And if you can, wrap them all the way, bringing the palms to touch. And if not, just like we did on the last side, just squeeze the arms into each other, bringing the backs of the hands together. So wherever you are, Actively squeeze in as you reach the fingertips up, and you should feel a nice stretch on the upper back. One more inhale, lift up through the elbows, lift up through the fingertips, and exhale, release it all. We'll take some circles in the shoulders, so reach the shoulders up to the ears, then back behind you, then drop the shoulders. Bring them forward, up, back, and then down, taking them at whatever pace you like. And just notice where you might be tight as you take the circles. Maybe you feel a little bit of pinching sensation, a little bit of 
your ligaments kind of moving up against each other, just notice where that might be. And maybe focus your breath and your concentration on those areas as we move through our practice. Switch directions. One more circle, bringing the shoulders back, up by your ears, forward, and then down. And we'll come to all fours. So come to a tabletop position on your mat. And we're going to stretch through cat and cow. So inhale, drop the tummy, lift the tailbone, lift the chin and the chest up. And on your exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin to the chest, and round through your spine. Inhale, come to cow. And exhale, come to cat. Three more times. Inhale, drop the tummy, lift the chest. And exhale, protract through the shoulders, tuck everything in. through the chest. Exhale, curl in. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, tuck in. Come back to neutral. Bring the right hand under your nose. Reach the left arm up to the sky, opening towards the left, and then thread that left arm through the right hand and your body, bringing the right bringing the left shoulder and the left cheekbone down to the mat. You can extend the right hand up to the top of your mat. That'll help to open your chest further towards the right. You can also tense up on the fingertips if that helps you to create a little bit more space within the shoulders and the chest. So we'll hold here for a couple breaths, just opening up into the body. And then walk the right hands back in. Press through the right hand, coming back to tabletop. And we'll switch sides, bring the left hand underneath your nose. Reach the right arm up to the sky. And then thread it in between the left hand and your body. Bringing the right shoulder and the right cheekbone down. Move the left hands to the top of your mat. And continue to open up towards the left. If you need to come up on your fingertips, you can do that. One more breath in and out. Bring the left hand back into your body, press through it, come back to all fours. And this time we're going to come to a wide-legged child's position. So bring the knees as wide as your mat. Sink the heels down towards the hips. Bring the forehead down to your mat. Bring the hands to a prayer position and then lower the hands to come to rest behind your neck. So as you sink the hips down towards your heels, you wanna to try to reach the elbows up towards the crown of your head. And that should give you a nice stretch on the undersides of the arms, opening up the chest. One more inhale as you try to reach the elbows further forward. And exhale, sinking down into the hips a little bit more. Release the hands back down to the mat. Tuck your toes underneath you. Push the hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Press through both hands and both feet. And we're still warming up, so if you need to pedal out the legs, you can do so. Maybe eventually finding stillness in your downward dog. Spread all 10 fingers. Roll the biceps outward. 
And even though downward facing dog is a great full body stretch, it specifically is very nice to open the shoulders and the chest. One more inhale and exhale. Melt your chest closer towards your legs. Come to your tiptoes, look your gaze forward, and we'll just walk our feet up to the top of our mat, coming into a nice forward fold. It's away from your hips and let the fists start to come up and overhead. And if you need to keep the knees bent in your forward fold, you can do that. But just feel the chest start to open as your Fists start to draw down towards the ground, coming up and back behind you. Another breath in. And on your exhale, go ahead and release the clasp of your hands. Bring the fingertips back down to your mat. Inhale, we're gonna lift up halfway, lengthening through the spine. Rolling the shoulder blades down the back and lifting through the chest. And then exhale, fold back down over the legs. Inhale, we'll come to stand all the way at the top of the mat. And exhale, bring your hands to prayer at your chest. We're going to take two rounds of Sun Salutation B. So inhale, come to chair pose as you sink the hips down and lift the arms up alongside your ears. So bring a lot of the weight into your heels as you sit down into an invisible chair, but then reach the arms up, opening through the chest and strengthening through the upper back. Take one more breath in and then exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift halfway, reaching through the chest. And then exhale, take your vinyasa, stepping back into high plank, lowering down through chaturanga. Inhale, lift up to mini cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, engage the core as you pull back on the hips, coming into downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Inhale, lift the, the right leg up and back behind you. And exhale, step it forward, planting the foot in between your hands. We're setting up for warrior one, so drop the back left heel, turn the left toes 45 degrees away from your mat, and inhale, rise up into warrior one, bringing the arms alongside your ears, and squaring the hips off to the front of the mat. Take a breath in our warrior one. Make sure your feet are on two separate tracks, it'll help to balance you in this pose. Exhale. Bring the hands down, step back into plank pose, lower down chaturanga, inhale, upward dog or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back, and exhale, step the left foot forward, Coming into warrior one on the second side. So plant the back right heel, turn the toes out 45 degrees, and inhale, rise up into warrior one. Square the hips to the front of your mat. And exhale, bring the hands down. Step back into plank, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your tiptoes, look your gaze forward, and start to walk your feet back up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sink the hips down. Reach the arms up, coming into chair pose. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. 
and take sun salutation V one more time. Inhale, chair pose, sink the hips, lift the arms, bring the weight into the heels, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, lift through your chaturanga. Come to your mini back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back behind you. And exhale, step it forward. Set your feet up for warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms up by alongside your ears. Square the hips to the front by pulling the right hip back a little bit and helping to push the left hip forward. Bend into that right knee as much as possible and feel the nice calf stretch you're getting along the back side of the left leg. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands down. Take your vinyasa. Lower down through chaturanga. Inhale through your back bend. And exhale. Come back to downward dog. Inhale. Lift the left leg up and back behind you. And exhale, step it forward. Set up for warrior one on the left side. And rise up. Continue to square the hips off to the top of the mat. And exhale, bring the hands down. Step back, take your vinyasa. And we'll all meet back in Downward Dog. Inhale, come to the tiptoes. Look your gaze forward. And walk the, walk the feet back to your hands coming into a forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink the hips down. Reach the arms up alongside your ears, lift through the chest, and exhale, come to stand. We'll take one last sun salutation V, but we're going to incorporate a couple extra poses to help open up the chest and the shoulders a bit more. Inhale, come to chair pose, sink the hips, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog and cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back behind you. And exhale, step it through. Coming back up into warrior one. So make sure that your foundation of your warrior one is very stable. We're going to move through a little bit of um, a flow with the arms. So set up your feet, bend into the right knee, square the hips, and this time we'll interlace the hands behind our back. Stretch your fists down towards your mat as you roll the shoulder blades together and peel the chest open. Inhale, look your gaze up. And then exhale, start to hinge at the waist, keeping the legs in the exact position that they're in. And start to fold forward into Humble Warrior, bringing the right shoulder in line with, in line with the right knee. And if your balance allows, you maybe look your gaze towards your tummy. And inhale, start to come back up into the torso. Come to your back bend as you continue to reach the chest up towards the sky. Pull the fists away from your hips. And then exhale, start to hinge back down into warrior or into humble warrior. Lowering the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. And start and continue to bring the fists over your head. Inhale, we'll come back up. 
taking the mini back bend. Open through the chest, roll the shoulders together. And then exhale one last time, humble warrior, curling everything in and letting the fists come up and overhead. Inhale, come back up. Release the clasp of your fingers. Come back into warrior one by just lifting the arms up and overhead. Inhale, and then exhale, bring the hands down. Take your vinyasa, step back. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, pull back on the hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back behind you. And exhale, step it forward. Come to warrior one on the other side. Set up your feet as you rise up. We're gonna take the humble warrior flow on this other side. So clasp the hands behind you. Interlace your fingers, stretch your fists away from your hips as your chest starts to open and peel up towards the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, inhale. And then exhale, hinge at the waist, and start to fold into Humble Warrior, bringing the left shoulder to the inside of the left knee, and stretching the fists up and overhead. Inhale, slowly come back up, keeping the legs as is. Take your little back bend, gaze up, inhale, and exhale, fold in. Inhale, come back to rise, keeping the hands clasped. Lift through the chest. And exhale, fold into Humble Warrior. Inhale, come back up. Release the clasp of your fingers. Lift the arms up into Warrior One. And then exhale, bring the hands down. And take your vinyasa. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back behind you. And step it forward on the exhale, coming back into warrior one on the right side. Inhale, rise up. This time we're gonna come into Eagle Pose. So wrap the right arm on top of the left arm like we did at the beginning of class. Wrapping the arms all the way together, bringing the palms to touch. And if not, then bring the backs of the hands together. We're gonna step up into full Eagle Pose. Lift your left heel away from the mat and start to shift all your weight into the right leg as you step up with the left foot and start to cross that lifted left leg over the right, coming into full eagle if you can by wrapping the left foot all the way around the right calf. If you can't wrap the legs all the way, then same thing with the hands, just squeeze the legs in. Sink the hips down as you reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And we'll hold this for three rounds of breath. Feel the back of the chest open, back of the shoulders. One more breath in. And exhale, release everything. Release the wrap of the arms. Step the left foot all the way back, coming back into warrior one. Lift the arms up. And exhale, release the hands. Take your vinyasa. Lower down, chaturanga. Upward dog. And we'll meet in downward dog. We'll move to the other side. Lift the left leg up and back behind you. Step it forward on the exhale. Set up your warrior one stance in your feet. Inhale, come to rise. 
from here, we're gonna wrap the left arm on top of the right arm, coming into eagle arms. Take the full wrap if you can, and if you can't, just squeeze the arms in. Lift the right back heel away from the mat and start to get lighter in the right foot. Shift your weight into the left foot as you step up, bringing the right knee to hover, and then start to cross the right leg over the left leg, coming into full eagle pose. Wrapping the legs, sinking the hips, and lifting the fingertips. Three rounds of breath. If you fall out of it, just come back in. Start to unwrap everything. Unwrap the legs slowly and step all the way back to warrior one. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, take the hands down. Step back, take your last vinyasa. Lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, take your back bend. And exhale, pull the hips back into downward facing dog. We're gonna take a twist from our downward facing dog. So shorten your stance just a little bit by walking your hands towards your feet by a couple inches. We're gonna twist towards the right first. So bring the left hand back to the right ankle, pull onto that right ankle. As you start to twist open towards the right, maybe looking your gaze underneath your right arm. We'll hold this just for a couple breaths, just a nice way to open up into the shoulders, chest, and upper back a bit more. Release the left hand back down to the mat and switch sides, bringing the right hand to the left ankle, pulling onto it and rolling the chest open towards the left. Breathe into the twist. Flip your gaze under your left arm and come back to downward facing dog. We're gonna take dolphin pose. So if this is the, um, probably gonna be the, the biggest shoulder stretch of them all. Lower the forearms down to the mat, interlace the fingers. And now we're in downward facing dog, but on our forearms. So the heels are probably gonna lift away from the mat a bit more than they usually do in a regular down dog. Continue to actively press down through your forearms creating a little bit of space in the shoulders. And at the same time, you wanna to start to melt your chest through the shoulders, through the forearms, maybe bringing the crown of your head closer to the mat. Continue to lengthen the tailbone up towards the sky as you try to pull down on the heels. One more breath in, dolphin pose and exhale, lower the knees down to the mat. And we're gonna come into our wide seated child's pose. So bring the knees to the to meet the outer edges of your mat. Bring the toes together, sink the hips down to the heels. And like we did at the beginning of class, bring your hands to a prayer position and lower them back to down behind your neck. Reach the elbows forward as your hips sink down. And maybe you notice that more of the underside of your biceps are making contact with the mat. Another breath in. And on your exhale, bring the hands back down to your mat and slide forward to come onto your tummy. We're gonna come into some locust lifts. So extend the arms down by either side of your body, face the palms inward. Take an inhale, roll the shoulders up and down the back, peeling the chest away from the mat. Lift the arms up and start to engage the legs so that the legs want to lift away from the mat as well. So we're working 
muscles in the back side of the body, peeling up into a nice little locust lift. Inhale and exhale. Release everything back down. We're gonna move through those lifts four more times. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and down the back. Lift up through the chest, through the legs, reaching all of the limbs up, pointing the toes away from you. And then exhale, release everything down. Inhale, peel the chest up, reach everything, reach the fingertips back behind you. One more to go. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and down the back. Peel the chest up, maybe coming up a little bit further onto the rib cage. Lift the legs. And exhale, release everything. This time bringing the hands under your forehead, creating a little bit of a cushion. to wind down now. So we're gonna take one last final shoulder opener. Extend the left arm out to your left. Extend the right arm out to your right. Start to shift over onto the left side of your body. Come up on the fingertips of the right hand and start to bend into the right knee and bring the toes all the way down to the mat behind you. Getting a nice stretch along the left side of the chest. I like to stay up on the right fingertips just because it gives me a little bit of support. So this is a very intense shoulder opener. If you can't bring the fingers all the way, or if you can't bring the toes all the way to the back side of the mat, then just keep the toes lifted wherever your flexibility allows. You don't want to have too much of a pinching sensation in the left shoulder. Breathe into any areas of tightness that you're feeling. One more breath in on this side. And exhale, release, come back to your tummy. And we'll do the other side. So extend the right arm out to the right, extend the left arm out to the left. Start to roll on to the right side of the body. Bend the left leg and bring the left toes all the way back behind you to the ground as you tense up on the left fingertips. So we're opening towards the left now, stretching to the right shoulder. And just breathe. Again, if you need to keep the left toes lifted, then wherever your flexibility wants to take them, you can just hang out there. slowly come back to center rolling back onto your tummy and then we'll come all the way to lay on our back bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall open to either side of your mat bring the bring the hands up and overhead resting one palm inside the other Letting the shoulders sink into the mat. And close your eyes. Imagine the elbows are rooting down into the mat some more, opening through the chest. to stay in this bound angle position then you can if you want to extend the legs for full shavasana you can do that bringing the arms alongside your body however you are relax 
relaxing on your mat. Imagine that your shoulders are lying directly, perfectly onto the mat with no space in between them and the ground. Exhale, just sigh out any tension, any stress that may be still within your body. Take a full body stretch, reaching the toes below you and the fingertips above you. And then roll over onto one side, coming into a fetal position just for a moment. And then press yourself up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed, sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders, let gravity pull them down. Bring your hands to your heart, bow your chin, and thank yourself for spending some time on your mat. Open your eyes. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's practice. Please feel free to leave me some feedback. If you liked this practice, then subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you all next Thursday for a new yoga workout.